Hello everyone, welcome to another discussion on the stories from this week's arc. I'm Korvoth, and this is Lothran. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. That was a nice introduction, my young jackal. Are you ready to talk about Cam and his introduction to the burden of leadership? Oh yes, and, and thank you, Lothran. I thought these discussions needed their own stamp to separate them from the rest of the videos, but still put a bit of polish on them too, cause we don't want them being all junky. It is a nice touch, but moving forward, how did you feel about this particular arc? It's lived in. Cam and the others, mostly Cam and, and Bildar. The others, too, uh, are interacting and altering their world to a great degree, but mostly Cam and, and Bildar. And the changes are such wonderful spice. Oh, I love the spice. Each and every detail leads to further problems and developments. Oh, it's, it's very spicy, Lothran. <laughs> of that, you can rest very assured is completely true, Korvoth. In these stories, we see Cam being treated as the one in charge, and he's actually quite good at it. He's very flawed in other ways, though. He works himself to death for one, and he's not very good at commanding troops, which will cause problems for him and others in the future. Wait, if he's a good leader, wouldn't that mean that Cam is good at leading soldiers, too? That doesn't make no sense, Lothran. <laughs> Korvoth, there are different kinds of leadership. Cam is an excellent engineer and inventor, a problem solver, and while he's an amazing pilot, he's not so great at organizing an active fleet and choosing to sacrifice a few people over the needs of the many. One of Cam's truest flaws. He thinks there are solutions to every problem that benefit everyone equally. Oh, okay. So, he's so focused on fixing things that he doesn't think about protecting some people over others. Okay, I got it. Exactly that. So, how did he get the rank of commander if he's not good at that? <laughs> He didn't earn any rank, Korvoth. He won't have a rank at all for some time. Bildar joked about Cam being in charge by calling him Sir. But Bildar is an archivist. People respect him, the archive and his order. So fresh engineers saw that Cam was being addressed as Sir by an archivist and then applied their own idea of what rank he should have had to run the operation he had under his wing, as well as the respect of an archivist. Under his wing? What? It's an expression. It means Cam is the one taking care of everything. Oh, so everyone just calls Cam Commander because they think he is, but doesn't that make him a commander? I mean, if everyone treats him that way, and he acts like he is one, isn't he already a commander? I, I still don't really get it, Lothran. <laughs> no, I'm afraid reality doesn't work that way. Nice try, though. Okay, okay, um, never mind. What about Gregari? This, the system, I mean, not the station. It sounds pretty weird. It has a bunch of planets, and you say a lot of them are habitable, and all these usable, decaying stations with valuable technology. And it's in the middle of a well-populated sector of space with a lot of space travel going on around it. It seems weird that Vildar recommended it to be used by Cam. He is an archivist, after all. Vildar's up to something. He's gotta be. He's an archivist. Of course he's up to something. The question is how much Vildar really knows, and how much he's just guessing at. So, if Vildar wants Cam in the Gregari system for a reason, 
then it's important to keep in mind, for evidence to be collected later, how the boo stations and bases respond to Cam's presence. Hmm. You didn't say it outright, but I get the feeling Gregari must have been well defended until recently. Otherwise, why wouldn't settlers and prospectors not have already set up colonies and stations of their own within Gregari? They haven't, have they? I mean, it's a really good target for people to, um, you know, place their flag on. It certainly has been attempted before Cam chooses it as his base of operations for fleet construction. But all of those expeditions led to horrendous and absolute failures that very few jackals escaped from with their lives. There's a bit of a wary word and a suspicious glare if you talk too openly about Gregari to the average milligrams citizen of this time period. And they aren't a very superstitious lot, those particular people. Okay, um... You gave me a lot to think about there. Um, what that might mean is the defenses aren't always up. They could be dormant most of the time, but when people begin settling Gregari, the defenses wake up. Like, uh, the automated rovers are only spoken about in reference to Gregari 1, it's, but that's the only place that people are living all of the time. The defenses could require an exposure to people of a set period of time to activate fully. This could be very bad. Um, oh, and what about that little beast? They came up to the base and one just happened to pick Cam and stay close to him. Sounds mighty suspicious and boo-oriented to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think that is enough for now. The two of us have much more to do today. And didn't you want to get a bonus video out now that you're not sick anymore? Ah, I'm so glad I'm done being sick. Laying in bed and rolling over this way and that. Coughing and ejecting fluid. Gross. I do want to work on a bonus video. I missed last week because I was busy and then I got all sick. <sighs> It was so bad, Lothran. Okay, I'm gonna do the extra so we can get to work with stuff. You can do your thing and I'll do my thing. Good night and good luck, everyone. See you again next Saturday for another discussion. And remember, stay safe out there. No, now, shoo, Lothran. I, got, I gotta use the book and the desk and the shard to do research for my bonus video. Go on, get out, go. Shoo! Shoo on, Lothran! Go! Get out of here! Shoo! Go! What are you- No! Wait, I'm turning it off now. You go away.